Hey, it's me again, Mr. C. In this video, we're going to look at the Divi layout kits from the Unicorn Bundle. In particular, the testimonials. Let me click on that. Let's go and take a look. There we go. We have module one to seven. One thing I wanted to point out with these, if you've looked at the rest of the Unicorn Bundle, you'll notice that there was uh, quite a few animations and rollovers. With the testimonials, normally when you display a testimonial on a page, it doesn't link elsewhere to a testimonial like a blog post would, for example. So for that reason, we haven't made it interactive as much because we don't want people to to click on it or roll through and then actually nothing happens so um, if you go to module six of seven we have made one which you are then able to use to link out to a particular page where there may be a list of testimonials normally it doesn't happen that way but we thought we'd include one for you uh, just to give you that possibility if you wanted it uh, you'll also notice we've got the little star icons here and then we have the inverted comma icons and those come from Font Awesome. Font Awesome we need to add to, to the theme header which I'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. Let's import one of these. Let's first take a look at the files that you would have received in the zip. First, we have the master JSON, which imports all of them, master CSS, all of them combined. And then we have one, two, seven, uh, split out in case you want to just use one of them for a client site. Uh, also, we've included JPEGs files for all of them. So you can just click on one of them to see what it looks like. So it's easy for you to identify which one it is. And then we have the PSD file, which you can then use to edit anything the way that you need to, uh, to show to your client if that's what you need to do. So let's continue. We can go to the dashboard uh, of your site, then to Divi, Divi library. We want to import these and then click the import button, import again, go and choose the file. So let's go to the master JSON, let's import that and click the import button wait for it to import once they are all imported we can go and create a page and install a couple of testimonials to see what they look like so let's do a five or seven i'm just going to copy that text because we want to create a page then add new there we go let's just put test in front so that we know then we click use the divi builder I'm going to choose blank page template because it's got no header and footer. Then add from library, what did we say, five or seven. There we go. There's our three testimonials. Click the publish button. And we can go and take a quick look at this page. And there you'll notice there's the little icon is missing, as you can see, and the styles just don't look that great because we need to go and add the style. So let's let's go and do that. You go to Divi and then theme options and then we want to go to our CSS file and grab that CSS styles. And there it is. Um, before we paste this in, what we want to do is if you look inside every uh, CSS file, uh, we have uh, commented out descriptions of things that you might need to do. In this case, we've got the font awesome code to add to your Divi theme options head of your blog. So we're going to copy this first and let's go and add that so that our icons show correctly. So I'm just going to copy that. Then we want to switch. <clears throat> we want to go and just scroll to the top of the page. So this is Divi theme options. And then you click the integration and then go down to add code to the head of your blog. And then just paste that in there and then click save changes. Now you can switch back to the general tab and we can go to the bottom. There we go. And then we go back to the CSS file. Let's grab all this information here, copy, and then we can just go back and insert that. 
There we go, paste, and then save changes. Now we can go and take a look at the page. So let's reload, and there we go. You can see the icons are there perfectly, and everything's nice and responsive. Now, the next thing you may want to do is you want to change the colors, most likely. Uh, we've made that very easy for you. Um, I'm I'll do one example so that you can see how to do it. Uh, you may have seen this already in some of the other videos, so if, if you have seen it, just skip and move on. There's nothing more to add. Uh, you'll notice inside the comments we've got the default red color to replace anywhere inside the CSS, and that's hash CC0033. So if we want to change that, we just simply do a find replace in your text editor. Uh, control copy, control find, uh, then we replace. I already have the Divi purple inserted here. Uh, so we go replace the first one and replace all. And then all of them should be replaced and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to copy that again. Control A, Control C. And then I'm going to highlight all of that code in the custom CSS and just replace it with the new color that I've added. Then click Save Changes. Then we're going to go here. We'll reload. Control F5. And in most cases, it depends. Uh, it may not be changed, as you can see in this case. So there's nothing that's changed over there. And uh, so each module is different. So some, some would require you cha to change it in the CSS code. Others would require you to change it in the module. Depends what is easiest or what is most practical for each of those particular modules. So you'll notice in this case it didn't change. So that means we need to go to the edit page and we need to go look at the individual module settings to update them there. So let's click on edit screen here. And then we want to look at content, design and advanced. I'm just going to go through these quite quickly. Uh, here you can change the image for your client so that there's a nice picture for them. Uh, then we go to design. Yeah, you can see there's the color and we want to re re change to the Divi purple. So let me switch and grab that quickly. Uh, go to the top. Let's see. Uh, control find, there we go. I've got the Divi purple here, yeah, copy. And let's just take that away. Control V, there we go, the colors change. So you just want to scan through all of these quickly and just see in the custom uh, CSS if there's any colors there that's the same as the default red. Ah, there you can see there's one. Whoops. Let me just copy that nicely. You can you can also use the file and find and replace inside your browser to find it on this page. So that's normally control F. You can see it pop up on the right here and then just scan through and do it that way. That's a nice little shortcut. So let's see there's nothing further here. Not as far as I can see. Then you can save. And so you would go through the rest of the uh, items on each of them and change the colors the way that you need to. So I'm not going to do the rest because that will probably bore you. Um, but you know how to do it. So let me hit the update button. And then we can go and take a look at the page. View the page. And there you go. You can see this one's nicely changed. Uh, I believe that would wrap up this video. We've showed you how to import the modules. We've showed you how to add the font awesome code so that you can get these nice little um, icons. And then we've showed you how to change the colors. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.